with the medium mastermind <laughs> Joe, <laughs> Justin, <laughs> Jake, and Joe. What's up, everybody? This, this, Hello. this is a little hard to keep up with with all the J's, man. I know you guys get that all the time, but it, it can be hard to keep up with. You just call us all, Joe. You got a 50% chance of getting it right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, you answer to that, too? It's a uh, fact of the matter. <laughs> oh, uh, look, look how he works that in already. placement. See what I did there. We <laughs> <laughs> kind of went macho man there for a second, too. What's up with that? I don't know. <laughs> Was this planned? Uh, you're just witnessing yeah. the extension of practice. <laughs> yep. I, we came straight from practice, so you're getting Joey. He'll probably talk like Sam Elliott. And then Christopher, Christopher Walken, Walken. Yeah, yeah, before the night's over. <laughs> so that was Sam Elliott as opposed to Macho Man, so I was way off base, right? Gonna get a sarsaparilla. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have a handler in the back who can take care of all that, right? <laughs> that wasn't on the rider when you guys agreed to come no. in studio. No, no sarsaparilla, so. Uh, just fluffers. <laughs> <laughs> and then where are they? I have yet to uh, see right, them. Yeah, I, I, I tried. Yeah. I, when I was coming through Hamilton, <laughs> I, I stopped, you know, on, on the Main yeah. Street, and I'm like, hey, Hey, we got Where these guys out here. Are. You know, I hear they're paying good money. Yeah, good fluffing. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you? Is that what you West Coasters are used yeah, to? That, yeah, that, that, that kind of treatment. So, <laughs> yep. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Along with the weather being hot and steamy, you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, steamy it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Justin's already giving up on this whole thing, man. He's just <laughs> forget about it. Why are we here again? We're, oh, we got a song coming out. That's why we're, why we're here. Yeah. <laughs> Single release. <laughs> Big show. Big show. Yeah, coming up so. August fifteenth. And that's back at your back at your. Uh, it's, you, you guys have been working out of MVP a lot lately, as far as like the big shows. It yeah. seems it's our stomping yeah. ground. You know, yeah. the old never on Sundays. And, you know, it's played a played a show there and was, felt uh, very nostalgic. And they've done a lot of good stuff to the place, and good sounds. So uh, yeah, it feels good. It's, a lot of hometown people there. So yeah, for for us at least for. Uh, Jake, Joe, and I—we grew up five minutes away from there, yeah. so it's kind of it really is kind of our home home turf. Um, and and the guys, Josh, who owns the place, has really made it nice. The stage is great. We always seem to get pretty good sound. Um, it's just a good venue. It's easy to park. You don't have to worry about you know like we're talking before off air about being in Clifton and going you know, two streets off of Calhoun and McMillan, and it gets a little frightening. And you don't have to worry about that really in Silverton. So. Um, it's just a good place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 Joe, you kind of have a – I mean, you, you've been there quite often and you're doing some acoustic stuff as well. So yes, I'm sure you have a certain affinity for the venue as well. Absolutely. It's a fantastic place. Jake, Joe, you're the only one who's not weighing in on this, man. Just Nobody's listening to you guys. I'm making sure we're staying on course here. We're all good. We're all good. Oh, the, the drummer's going to be the, the <laughs> caretaker. He just he just yeah. keeps the rhythm keep for the uh, okay. keep the time of the, Give the me interview. A beat. And Joey, don't you have a, an acoustic gig coming up at MVP here soon? Oh, yes, okay. I do. It is on Wednesday night with uh, Billy Carey. No, oh, that's that's the the WTF Wednesdays, right? It is. Uh, this guy in the corner here taking pictures. He's like, no, it's fact of the matter, fact of the matter. Yeah. <laughs> that's. <laughs> That's probably what we should focus on, because I think the last time we were out here, we were getting ready to release the CD, the, the full album, which was 14 months ago. A little over a year ago. A little over, yeah. yeah. Doesn't it seem like it's been that long ago, though. Just doesn't. Things have been pretty fast-paced since then. And I think we're coming back to it again with this single, because, again, it, it is our hometown bar, so to speak, but it also provides for a great venue for a lot of people to come out, because that's very local to the highway. Uh, it's in a good part of town. The parking's great. So we've, we've kind of looked at everything full circle to make sure we'd hit everything as far as, you know, having a successful turnout, because that's what's most important to us, is to get the people out. We have a brand new song, Fact of the Matter, that we've worked together. This will be off an upcoming album later to be disclosed of when we're going to do that. But uh, we're really happy with the direction we're moving. We're trying to get out of town and still pushing the, uh, the first effort. But again, this is our new single, and we're stoked to do this on uh, August 15th, Saturday night, MVP. You guys bringing some, bringing some friends along with you as well, right? Yes, yes. We got uh, uh, our buddies from Indianapolis, Pragmatic, who I think they, I believe they opened up for Nothing More up in, was it Michigan? Nothing More, Boba Flex, and they're getting ready to open for Saving Abel at um, 
Fifth Quarter Lounge oh. in Indianapolis, a uh, place we played with them a couple times. So we felt we'd you know, pay them the favor back and have them in town. And they're a great band live. They're These awesome. Guys, these guys bleed major energy on stage. So that's what we like. You know, they bring a good live raw show. And they brought us into town and hooked us up. Like, and we, we kind of went really well with their crowd. Like, you guys come to Cincinnati. We'll take care of you. We think our crowd would love you. So it'll be a good linear kind of rock and roll band. You know what I mean? Live, r- real rock and roll. And then, so. and then starting the show, we got our, our buddies from here in town, Black Pharaoh. Spelled kind of funky, but Black Pharaoh. Well, they can't, they play kind of funky too, though. I mean, they, yes. they kind of got some incredible musicians in that band, and it's just something totally different from what Pragmatic and Lift the Medium are going to be. But it's going to get things started off right. I think. Totally, and it's it's high energy. It's just a good night of music, you know. So if you like rock and roll, from this from it kicks off at nine, from the time the music starts to the music stops, um, and we are going to try to get it wrapped up fairly early. So if you got a babysitter, or you need to get home for. Your Sunday, we got to get home up for church the next day. <laughs> or if you want to hang out for a couple hours, yeah. 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 And then so Joe can get to church in the morning. I yeah. know what yeah. it's for. Yeah. I mean, he's got to sing in the choir. Lots of sin. <laughs> um, lots of sin. <laughs> yeah. he's, he's got a lifetime full of sin to make up for. Dude. I mean, he gave his life to Jesus, and Jesus is still like, come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, a debt's a debt. You got to. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Jesus walking for us. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. The storm just moved away, so hopefully it doesn't come back now yeah, for him. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We need no lightning bolts. We, we feel pretty good that if he hasn't gotten hit yet, yeah. he's in pretty good shape. Yeah. But he's still got a lot of life left. Hope yeah. we, we hope. Thank God so. he's not made out of butter. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pictures in my head right Pictures now. The YouTube head, videos yeah. of, of oh, yeah. oh, I ain't even oh, going the there, smell. man. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna take a break class x we are what they were Class X and Kindred Sanction, Lift the Medium, The People. Great. And, and I was totally wrong in the order that it was recorded, but it, it doesn't matter. So, it's Christi- all right. They're all on They're the out. same CD. Yeah. Wow. And you can listen to the CD in whatever order you want. That's true. And you can pretend like we recorded in that order if that makes you feel better. I, I like to feel better like that, yes. Yeah, I, I mean, think I'll go along like with that. It's like a Choose Your Own Adventure <laughs> album. <laughs> <laughs> See, that would be interesting. Yeah. Choose Your Own Adventure. Turn yeah. to page three. Yeah, turn to page three. Go to track seven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the the single release is coming up on August 15th indeed fact of the matter I'm sure you can buy the full length album though you can buy the full length album in fact of the matter the, the single will also have two acoustic tracks on it too we have a, an electric track for the fact for fact of the matter and we have an acoustic version of today which is on the mastermind CD we also have an acoustic version of an unreleased song called number one on the uh, on the little single so it's a it's like a little little tiny mini it's more than just a single. It's more than just one song. It's, it's an amount. It, yeah, it's not an amuse bouche, but it's like an appetizer. <laughs> okay. It's a pretty tight package. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> package. The dueling Walkins are back in the studio. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> no piano in the house, but Christopher's on the other side. <laughs> Duel. <laughs> Ling. <laughs> Watkins. <laughs> this is just uh, so everybody knows. This yeah. is this is what happens every Monday yeah. night. Yeah. We just we start practice at like five o'clock, and we run through songs. And periodically, Good we reason. all do Christopher Walken impressions and kind of lose our minds. It's really <laughs> interesting to hear. And uh, sadly, we're here now instead of at our rehearsal space. We've just let ourselves into public and didn't flip that switch yeah. of sanity. We it with us. <laughs> yeah. And every once in a while at practice, you'll hear. It's, it's like getting attacked by 
Four Chewy. Chewbacca's. Four Chewbacca's. Yeah, it's... <laughs> Well, I noticed that, that, that yeah. Justin and Jacob are the only two not participating, so does, I figured that's probably practice as well, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't have he's a microphone been, in practice, yeah, so this, right, is, right. this is something new for me. He's like, we all do it, but I don't do it as publicly as the rest of them. <laughs> the, so. the thing that's really hard is you'll start speaking with, like, your, when you start talking, you'll reverse the first letters of words. Like, I can't tell you how many times we've talked about the Mac to the Fatter release that we're going to have on mm-hmm. August 15th. And that gets really confusing. Yeah, it'll be a Tud Gaim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tud Gaim, yeah. Um, that's uh, the hidden track, though, right? The Mac to the Fatter? Mac to the yeah, Fatter, yeah. yeah. So we're, we slowly lose our minds, though. It's, <laughs> but truly, it is the fact of the matter on August 15th. So. And that's at MVP, which was the place of your original album release. But I think we were talking off air. I mean, you guys have been together. You just kind of came up upon the anniversary about a month ago, or a little over a yeah, month this ago. Yeah, this is our belated two-year two years. anniversary and I think uh, we, we'd we actually talked about doing a show for the two-year anniversary, but I think we all had vacations, and somehow I got suckered out to go work for Walk the Moon for a month, and so we just Sucker. all kind of said, it, it, there's, they pay me. <laughs> just shut up and dance. <laughs> yeah. Um, but they, uh, but we, we pushed it back to August, so... <laughs> Very very light hi hats, yeah. but yeah. So this is this is kind of our, our two year anniversary, our two year birthday party. Uh, plus we we wanted to st- we didn't want to go more than a year without having something new, you know. Like we because we had actually finished the CD, and we had already started writing new songs and had frameworks of stuff worked out. And we're like, why aren't we recording these? Like, is at a certain point you have to put the CD out. Um, but now it's kind of like we, we know that there's more music coming down the chute. We just didn't want to let stuff sit around for, especially for our fans who are here local, who come to see us pretty frequently. You know, we try not to play too much in Cincinnati, but there's a whole bunch of people that we really got to gotta chalk it up to them because they love us and we love them back. Yeah. And We, we want to give them something good. Yeah, we want to yeah, give them something good. Something special. When we, when we go to other towns like this weekend, we're playing in Dayton at Wings off of uh, Miller Lane on the north end of Dayton. When we go to there, go to towns like that, they haven't seen us play. They haven't heard us. So the Mastermind CD, even though it's it's been out for a year now, it's fresh, the, it's fresh to them. But for a lot of the people that have seen us a bunch of times, there's we got to have something new for them, and we got to have something new for ourselves too. Um, and this has been it's it's been pretty interesting to try to put together something uh, small but still make it meaningful. You know, to have something a song that we like, some yeah, have some substance to it. So. Uh, and it's kind of a, a, since we put out the Mastermind CD, we've done a lot of acoustic shows and uh, to kind of add some of the acoustic stuff to it and give people back a little bit of what they hear that way. It's kind of nice too. So. Yeah. And I mean, the band has progressed, has, I don't say progressed as far as in terms of getting better. I don't mean it that way, but as far as, you know, the way you guys write, I'm sure, you know, the band has grown and brought in different influences from when you guys first did this one as well. So it's kind of nice to hear that on, you know, some of the newer stuff you're coming out with that you do play live. Definitely. And I think there's, with the stuff that we've been doing, there's been, uh, we've kind of got the process down. And even the recording process, uh, you know, it's funny, we, we recorded uh, the Fact of the Matter track uh, at Fat Track Studios uh, over here in, I guess it's technically Forest Park. And uh, we went in and, and it was weird because it was the first time we'd worked without, without Joe Veers from Sonic Lounge um, since, basically since the beginning and, and just having a different sort of mindset to go in. It was, it was weird to kind of shake it up a little bit. And it was cool, you know, but it was, uh, it's, we've even got, we got the writing process down. We've got the recording process <clears throat> down the way that we like to do it. And it, it just goes fast now. It's just faster. There's less, less uh, wrenches in the gears. So. And for those who don't know, I mean, this we've just surpassed our two-year anniversary, but Joe, Justin, and I have been playing together since we were little kids. So this goes back a lot further. So when you talk about all these processes, it's also, you know, this collaboration we've had is like this brotherhood growing up playing music. We've been in and out of bands. Joe went out to California and did the Floyd Tribute Band, a very successful band out there for a while, and they toured up and down the coast. Justin and I were in a few projects along the way. And the really cool thing that brings us full circle to where we are now is that Justin and I were at a show a few years back, and we saw Joey performing, and we were like, "What? What can we do to get that guy in our?" <laughs> you know what I mean? And this this was the truth. Ah, we yeah. sat down the crowd like that dude can sing. You know what I mean? And there was just something about it. And you know, we were at a point where we all where our paths were crossing. Joe came back home from California. Justin and I were getting out of a musical project. Joey was out of his, and we and Justin kind of you know was a catalyst for all this, so to speak, to put it in motion. 
let's get together, let's practice. We jammed through a few songs, and so that's kind of where it started. But, you know, married with that, you you had Joe, Justin, and I, you know, all through all these years playing, and we've really learned to work together, and I think that's what really helps put us in motion and what makes us successful, we like to think anyway, is that it's real. You know what I mean? What we have is real, and that's that's what's great about this band is we know how to work together, and it's a good feeling to just put that on stage and make it real and law and just come at face value, you know, with what we do, so... It's been an awesome journey. It's been long, and uh, we're just getting started, really. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, and it was it was definitely cool going back in the kind of little bit of the history is when I think it was our third rehearsal, and Joey came in, and we're like, it was just just easy. And we're like, oh, this is the guy, you know. And then two years later, it's like, yeah, it's he's like part of the family. Look at him. Just look at him over there. <laughs> he's just. <laughs> I know you can't really look on the radio, but we can look at him. <laughs> and, and do you agree with the stuff that they're saying here, Joe? I mean, was it that easy for you as Absolutely well? Absolutely not. <laughs> It's just been so dreadful and it's such a rough experience for me. I just try to just fit in there. Try to, try to fit with these guys and just be be comfortable. No, uh, it's been it's been real. It's been real, real. It's been super real, and it's been a fantastic time. It really is effortless. We can, for instance, is Joe. Will, I'm gonna go closer to the mic. Oh. <laughs> Joe will write a riff, for instance, in his room in his corner of the world, and then I will write a, a similar riff, and then we will get together and say, "Hey, check out this riff," and I'll be like, "Hey, check out this riff," and then he'll be like, "Wow, that sounds like my riff. We should combine those two. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's actually the story of how the people got written. <laughs> I've been listening to a lot of Mitch Hedberg. You have to forgive me sometimes. He comes out as well. My timing and phrasing. <laughs> I was catching that, but I was going to wait. I was like, gonna, I'm glad you brought it up before I did. I'm like, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I was just wondering because, you know, with these three being together for so long and everything and, you know, coming in as the new guy, but they never take it as, oh, that's the new guy. I've never, I've never felt like the new guy. It's, it's, we just kind of just gel. It's just super easy. It's, I mean, it's, there's work involved some of the time, but <laughs> <laughs> it's just so much. We have such a great chemistry together and we're all on the same exact page as far as just musically and just there's just such a good energy when the four of us get together we're not afraid to step on each other's toes and say <clears throat> this doesn't sound good or that doesn't work or this does and that doesn't I mean what, what makes a song a work song. absolutely yeah. what, what serves a song and there's something to be said for that in songwriting because you, you really have to set your ego aside and even you know your controlling side you know musically where you want a song to go uh, but really, it's it starts with with Joe and and Joey bringing something, you know, the blueprint. Sometimes Joe will have, I got your drum parts right, and I got I got some keyboards and I got some <laughs> ideas for vocals. Like okay, and sometimes that's how songs are made. And like uh, you know, Joey brings his essence to it as well, and he's like, I got you know drums and ideas. So these guys will sit and really put the stuff together, and we come together and put our niche on it. And songs evolve in a very cool way that we feel is good for the listener. We feel is good as marketable, and we all appreciate as well ourselves. You know what I mean? So. I mean, the first thing is you have to like it yourself before, yeah, you know, yeah. to expect somebody else to like it. So. I'll do it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you Absolutely. tell Joe when he has yeah. the drum parts written, right? Yeah. He goes, oh, it sucks, but I'll do well. it. Yeah. <laughs> and it's also interesting for me. I'm, I'm the only guy in the band that doesn't sing. Uh, we actually... What's up all, with that anyway? Yeah. Uh, you'll get me to sing eventually. Okay. But it's until then, you know, it's just like, man, I can't carry a pitch in a bucket. Yeah, we're saving uh, up to get him a mic. Yeah, that's yeah. because because when yeah. you give me a microphone, this is what happens. I start talking. Um, <laughs> but uh, is is a guy who gets to sit back and kind of watch the vocal process go. We have a new song that we're going to play. We have at least one that we're going to have ready on August 15th, maybe two, depending on how uh, the next couple rehearsals go. And just to watch the vocal uh the, just that that instrumentation get built um, to watch. It, maybe we'll Joe has got a vocal line or a, a lyric that he's brought in, and then he's singing it in one register. And Joey's like, "Well, maybe it's more comfortable for me to sing it here." And so then it'll go. You know, Joey will start singing. Then Joe's part changes. Then Jake parts. Jake's part changes. And just to watch just the vocals get built is just so seamless. That again, talking about not stepping on anybody's toes. Nobody's ever offended. Like well, I wanted to take the high part. You know, it's always, you know, it's it's just a matter of what what works, who, what works you know, and there's nobody's ever offended by, by anybody saying anything. I think that's the biggest thing is playing in a band, so many people get easily offended by their ideas being shot down, and, and that's one of the things that it's kind of like a, 
I don't know, we kind of have this safe zone where nobody, like, we might not like your idea, we always like you, and I think that's always important for us, and that's, you know, we've, I don't think we've ever gotten mad at each other, any of us, for more than, like, three or four seconds, and then we're like, eh, sorry, being a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Tr- truly more like a brotherhood, then, so yeah, like you yeah. said, so it kind of plays into that. All right, well, we're going to take a short break. Class X, the music speaks for itself. Lift the medium on Class X and Kindred Sanction. Flow on the name of the tune if you didn't catch that there in the chorus. That's part of that, you know, the three-part harmony you're talking about there, right? Yeah, that's uh, no auto-tune uh, on that song at all. That's just guys singing. I, yeah. I see it brought out Joe's Gwen Stefani influence, though. Absolutely. And now she's back on the market, so it's, it's all good. <laughs> well, not yet. I it's see, not you, you seem pretty stoked about that. October 3rd, yeah, it's her birthday. We're celebrating. <laughs> you got the ticket hey, collected and everything. <laughs> yeah. I should be so lucky. <laughs> she di- should be so she lucky. She should, yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, there we go. He's We're already dialing up Allegiant on speed yeah. dial. Don't oh, yeah. give me a ticket out. We're not playing in October, are we? Mm. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> Taking the first week off, guys. But you guys are playing August 15th. August 15th. Yep. And uh, at that show also, the first 50 people through the door... Get a free copy of the the CD single, mm-hmm. and um, a hug. It, well, we we'll give them hugs. Hugs free. Hugs for free. Is that is that from each member of the band, or they have to pay extra for you the? You got to pick quartet? one member you want. Uh, yeah. And Joey, you have to pay extra for. Yeah. Yeah. Joey is extra. Joey is extra. Yeah, Joey's extra. Yeah. It's free, so it would be a dollar. Joey's. <laughs> so for the, the three guys that don't sing and lead, it's just free. So Joey's an extra dollar. Yeah. So I mean, still. At eleven dollars to get in to hug Joey, yeah. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Ten dollars yeah. if you just want to come in regular. Three bands. We also uh, have a sharing contest. If you go to our Facebook page, mm-hmm. where you can get in, if you share a post that we've got, you have a chance to get in for free. A fifty dollar MVP uh, gift card, which you can use on uh, what some people would call booze, the night of the show. Plus, there's uh, T-shirts from each band, CDs from each band. There's second and third place that gets you T-shirts and free admission. Sign posters. Sign posters. Um, you know, all you got to do is go to Facebook and share the post, and we decide a week from Thursday we'll do do a drawing to kind of choose who who gets those prizes. Um, so it's it, again good time. You can get we in. We will for free. also have a uh, new merch as well. Yeah, new, yeah, mer- new and we'll have so. merch and we've yeah, got a we got our, our fancy new kind of after two years we kind of restarted the the logo, kind of redid some stuff, and uh, we'll also be having some specials if you want to buy. If you've never bought a shirt from us before, we'll have some specials. You can buy some shirts from us at a slightly discounted rate. Um, on some of the older stuff. So. Now, now you're you're kind of rebranding the look a little bit, but you're also discounting the vintage. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. That's exactly okay. it. Yeah. The, uh, discounting the vintage. So uh, share the la- love, man. Yeah, yeah share love. We've got the last printing on on all the, the the stuff that we've had for the last year, and uh, once it's gone, it's gone. Yeah. So, long, long gone. Long, long gone. <laughs> Which is a lyric from Fact of the Matter. For those of you who don't know. <laughs> I like the way you're working that in there. So there you're thinking all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Product placement. <laughs> <laughs> what I was wondering about the hugs, is that before or after show? Because that may dampen. Post. Okay. Yeah. You don't want to hug yeah. Jake. You don't want to hug. We'll actually yeah. give you money back if you hug Jake after yeah. the show. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We'll pay you a dollar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you'll, you'll, discount, you'll discount Joey's hug to 50 cents. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, no. Yeah. After the show, he goes up to $2. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. The sweat will linger on you. <laughs> you can take some home with you that way. Yeah. We have mason jars <laughs> and towels. And ring, ring. Start your own little like lift the medium Jurassic Park type thing, you know. And oh, yeah. 
There's another rule we have, the hugging, and if you're gonna take some of my sweat home, don't clone me, please. Yeah, no cloning of Joey. Yeah, we don't yes. want a Jurassic Park. Yeah. Like, like, can you imagine yeah. an island filled with Joey Vasilets? Just Ooh. cloned versions yeah. that go crazy and eat people. That's I mean, pretty scary. Yeah, I mean, he he's, he's kind of the raptor of the band. You can't. Oh yeah, yeah. He Clever can, girl. Just don't move. If you don't. If you don't move, he can't see you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, just, uh, we're, this one's this, this is just like the end of practice. Things start really going south. Right. And just yeah. towards the end, right? Quickly. No, it starts at the yeah. beginning and just goes further down. Uh, yeah, right? yeah. I mean, like, yeah. it's it starts at a low point and right. just keeps sinking. I'm just glad normal it's, people yeah. don't come to our... That's right. like oatmeal. I have to have a straight jacket put on. Yeah. yeah. If I, <laughs> if, get really at midnight, we all turn into pumpkins and just start giggling wildly. We don't even sing anymore. It's just giggling in, in harmony. It's pretty impressive. It's kind of like a sleepover party for like a bunch of little fourth grade girls, right? Oh, yeah. Kind of like that. It okay. was yeah. we did, when we did our show last week with Chakras. Who they play? You guys played a little bit earlier. Mm-hmm. Uh, we started doing a sound check, and hearing the three guys singing just go uh, singing the melody of the Mastermind, but just to the words "check one two." Like it, it was pretty impressive hitting all the harmonies. Check one two. Check one two. Check one two. And uh, that was pretty good. Or we'll come up with songs for beers while we're at practice. Like the psychopathy song, that's a good one. And the bass player still doesn't sing. Nope, still don't. Night. I'm mentally recording all these. <laughs> so they can, I remember that song you guys sang. Oh yeah, I forgot yeah, about that. Psychopathy. That was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> we're, go ahead. Oh, oh no. <laughs> we're getting ready to have to step out, but you know, one of the first of all, thank you guys for coming out. And if you want to mention the sharing on the Facebook and the date one more time, so that would be if you go to our Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash lift the medium, and you can scroll down, find the sharing contest. And again, the big show, August 15th, MVP in Silverton. All the information's on the Facebook page or also at liftthemedium.com. And uh, we hope to see everybody out. Should be a grand old time. Sharing is caring. <laughs> That's it's truth. That's right? it's not a lie. That's, That's fluffy. <laughs> Gwen Stefani. Gwen Stefani. Gwen Stefani to you. you, Gwen. (laughs) Sarsaparilla. (laughs) (laughs) Well, before that happens, we have one coming up this Friday night. We're going to play this band on the way out of here uh, down at the Naughty Pine. It's only their second show together in the current incarnation. It is Visual Chaos. Thanks again for Lift the Medium for you guys coming out. Thank you. Uh, Thank you, Class X, for having us out here. No problem. Glad to have you, man. Love to have you guys out anytime. Maybe Always not after band practice when we're so goofy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's why we turned off the AC for you guys, so you'd feel comfortable like you were still at practice and you'd loosen oh, up. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Fair I enough. figured you guys would need to loosen up, you know, uptight yeah. a little bit. kind of takes you a while to acclimate. It's and like a hot yoga let class. Let yourself out. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Pilates later.